Greetings of love, light, and oneness from myself, Nazir, and the spiritual masters who guide our journey. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we're going to talk about navigating our emotions. We're going to talk about channeling our emotions and using our emotions to help us jump timelines and manifest the life of our dreams in this lifetime. Our emotions are what focuses us in time and space. Our emotions keep us on a certain track of experiences and a timeline or a chain of events. Emotions also help us to create. Emotions are the fuel that propels our thoughts into reality. Your strong emotions and desires are not a bad thing. Passion is actually a blessing. Some people can't manifest much in their life because they don't have the strong urge and passion. They don't have the thirst. But your passion, chosen ones, your, your, your strong emotions makes it easier for you to manifest and bring your desires into existence. Now, emotions are the catalyst that propel us into higher or lower timelines of existence. We can create by either positive emotions or negative emotions. It's our choice. For example, I recently had a consultation with a gentleman who really was getting all of these thoughts that he needed to leave his job. To the point he started getting knots in his stomach and started feeling anxious going to work. And as time progressed, he started to unconsciously create uh, illnesses and mishaps just so he wouldn't have to go to work. Eventually, he got fired. However, amazingly, he found an even better job almost immediately after that termination. What's the lesson? Listen to yourself. Listen to your gut. Listen to that still small voice within you and listen before the whisper becomes a shout. And that's the key to growing with more joy in your life. Oftentimes we don't listen till the whisper becomes a shout. But if we listen to those whispers and, and do those small things, we get to uh, avoid having these turbulent negative emotions take place in our life. Every emotion is almost like a check oil light. You know, in your car, uh, you may have a, a indicator that may come on that says, you know, it's time to check the oil or something's wrong with the engine. Well, that's what it is with your emotions. When you start getting these turbulent emotions, it's almost like a check engine light. And it's time to check in with your higher self and ask, what is the message? When you get the slightest feeling of irritability or frustration or anger, or resentment, ask yourself, what is the message? And listen quiet your mind. It's a good time to meditate as well. So that answer will be revealed to you. Negative emotions are all messengers. They're messengers. Pay attention to them, get their guidance, take action and let them go. So once again, when you have a negative emotion, know that it's a message. It's a messenger. There's a message in that negative emotion. Okay. You want to take action and let it go. You want to take action, pay attention to it and let it go. Okay. Because it, no, it doesn't need to linger beyond its, 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 its usefulness. It serves its purpose. You have to let that negative emotion go. Navigating and channeling our emotions are going to be key and very important to quantum jumping. We have a quantum jumping or advanced timeline jumping course coming up in April. And we want to invite you uh, here on YouTube to join us at Hidden Power University, where we're going to delve into a plethora of techniques. We're going to go into several different techniques and rituals and mindset and just a lot of fun and powerful things you can do to get yourself to a place to living the life of your dreams, which is the key. That's why we're here. We're here to use all of our spiritual gifts to bring heaven to earth. And that's why we're here. So invest in yourself. Don't wait to go to heaven, right? Don't wait to, for all of these other things to happen in terms of manifesting your ideal life today. All right. So Shalom Wadu, thank you so much. And we'll see you next time.